I enjoy my time outdoors in, in the woods, along streams, anything to do, hiking, uh, mountain climbing, all those types of things. There are some risks when you're outside and being able to identify those certain plants and animals that can be dangerous is important to know what to stay away from. In this particular case, we're looking at a giant hogweed plant. Now hogweed can be mistaken for Queen Anne's lace. Uh, it is a very beautiful flower. It casts a giant umbrella-like flower at the top. The stalks can be majestic up to 15 feet tall. However, the danger in this plant is the sap. If you expose the sap to your skin, it can much act as a reverse type of skin block, uh, allowing UV rays to expose themselves to DNA in your skin, kill the cells, and cause third degree burns and possible blindness. If you do come in contact with this and you do have sap on you, the best thing to do is to wash it off immediately, get out of the sun, and hopefully everything will be all right. But the first step in being able to be preventative is to understand what its characteristics, what it looks like. Um, in a minute, you'll see my daughter. Here she is standing next to a perhaps 10-foot tall hogweed plant. At the time, we weren't as aware of the danger in touching this plant as we are now. It is a very majestic plant, the, uh, <clears throat> and it is an invasive plant spread to some 13 states here in the Northeast. Uh, it's very difficult to get rid of. If you were to cut it off, there's a, a substantial bulb system that can be the size of a small car. The chemical in this plant is called a uh, furyl commonis. It basically uh, is a DNA, DNA damager and can, can cause the death of your skin. It really is just a, a beautiful, nasty plant, and if you do happen to come across it, the best thing to do is to take a picture and to uh, contact those people who might be able to help in preventing it from spreading. In the fall, when these flowers die, much like a sunflower seed, they shed seedlings, 120,000. So anyway, I just am giving you a heads up. Uh, thank you for watching. Don't come in contact with this one. Be aware of its beauty. Thanks for watching.